Hi ladies. Well, I promised you the materials list. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it, what you need. And then if you want the written copy, go ahead and message me in grams and me. And I'm going to show you something that might scare you. Okay, beware. Scaring you? <laughs> okay, so this is my craft room, and uh, so it's a mess. Look, I'm trying to get put things in boxes so I could move them. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna move them. So it's the loft, and um, it's right here. Okay, see my fabric over there? <laughs> I love that piece. This was for a bedroom, but I just like it. But um, anyways, uh, I've been working on this. And I don't know if you remember, back in a uh, couple of months, I had um, help painting a, a chest of drawers. I'm going to put it up here, and that's going to be my, like my ironing board. So uh, once I can lift things and all that, I will have it done. So now this is my craft table, and um, this is where I had my grandkids doing the projects, okay, and it, it's fun. That's why I can't wait to have my craft room ready, because I'm going to have different stations. I'm going to have um, recycled furniture. It's furniture that my daughters used to use in their bedroom. They're, they had desks and all that. and. Um, I'm going to use them in there so it'll be different stations. I was going to go buy uh, the desks and tables that they have at Ikea. We don't have one here in El Paso, so I would have to drive to Tucson, to Phoenix actually. And um, um, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to recycle everything I have instead of just getting rid of it. Uh, when you sell it, you know, you get very little for it. So I think I could use it and. Um, instead of spending a lot of money on new furniture and that's what my plan is okay <laughs> so i'm glad i hope you liked the tour of my mess so let me show you we're gonna be making a sewing project okay this is a, a pillow and the pillow was actually my grandson's idea okay so he he said that at school the classroom that he wasn't in wasn't were making many projects and one of them was a pillow and he was very upset that he didn't make one. So when we were here in my mess, <laughs> uh, we had a, I had a, another project planned, but he decided he wanted to sew. And um, he uh, was planning on that and then he started looking in one of these things. These are quarter fabrics and I have a bunch of them. Let's see you could see right there so did you see it oh, right in, right there those containers are what you use for the um, refrigerator sorry that all this movement but I just have a uh, my cell phone and um, and I can't hold it properly this this arms the one that had got the surgery and uh, it really it, it hurts. <laughs> I don't have the sling because I have to take a break once in a while. Uh, so anyways, those are for the refrigerator, but he got that. And then the girls, because I have, uh, I have six total of grandkids. I have two that are past 18. And then I have um, the smaller one, uh, well, a baby. I have a baby too that's only a little over a year. And so the three smaller ones, younger ones, are the ones that love to do crafts with their grams. Yeah, that's what they call me. Jaslyn is my first daughter that named me that. So they were gonna make, um, cause I had a Barbie here that belonged to my other granddaughter and they wanted to make a dress. So that's what we were looking for. She was, lo they were looking for fabric for a dress and, and so my grandson was gonna do the pillow and when they saw that, they decided to make a pillow too. 
and so so thank goodness it was gonna be a lot of trouble with, with that dress and so um, that's what we ended up doing and so what you need let me set this up if I can't hold it much okay so what you're gonna need is quarter fabrics you could you could buy uh, fabric you know a yard if you wanted to um, but this way you could get different prints okay see like this so what they did is I got and it was his idea okay uh, his name's Jaden so he got one color for the back and another color for the front or vice versa and he got a, a really nice red and a really nice green it was like like this color it was so pretty and the girls got one of them got a real pretty with purples and pinks uh, print and it had a print and um, uh, Lila got one with uh, print also but it, it had a um, like what do you call it geographic patterns it was it was real pretty and the colors that they selected were nice and they were able to match them up they went well and um, so this is what you need the quarters so just go to your fabric store and just get two quarters uh, quarter fabric of, um, of the color that you want to use and of course if this is just for one pillow okay and we're gonna cut it I'll give you the measurements that you're gonna cut it into it's not gonna be this size and that was also Jaden's idea he told me how he wanted and then the girls followed you know so I cut it the way he wanted it he had it more like this size this size okay he didn't want it square and because um, he said he wanted to sleep in it and all that and so then we had um, to use stuffing. Oh, you know what? I don't have a sample of the stuffing. So they sell this bag of stuffing. And it's for like uh, under $3, $2.99 and sometimes $1.99. You could get it at Michael's or you could get it at Hobby Lobby. And uh, those, because that's a special price, you can use their coupons, okay? Um, and so we used that to stuff them. And... Um, then they used the, I'm going to show you, the sewing machine. Okay. Let me see. Got my water bottles there. See, very simple. It's under $200. And I just checked on Amazon, sorry, and they have um, one for 131 And it's even for quilting. And what that means let me show you is the bed right here is longer that's for quilting so um, so it gives you more room when you decide to make a, a quilt and and like I said I bought it under $200 and I bought it on Amazon too and it's I've had it for I think three years and it's pretty good and of course I have my big one my big embroidery uh, sewing machine but you don't want to be carrying that around everywhere so I bought this one and um, I have another one too. So I have two. I'm trying to stock up because I want to have um, my cousins over and we're going to have projects. I, I, I just love crafts and uh, I like sharing them and having parties, uh, eating and sewing and painting and crafting. You know, um, for Christmas, I have a scrapbooking party. It's an annual thing now. I'll tell you about that later. Okay, so that's what you're going to need. So, of course, for the the sewing project you're gonna need scissors good fabric scissors you're gonna need three of them uh, I say three but because uh, I have three grandkids but you're gonna need as many as you're gonna need because of your kids uh, of course everybody can wait and share so it's up to you but nice good ones and um, my youngest one is six years old no, uh, sorry not my youngest one my youngest crafter is six years old because my youngest uh, grandson is only a year and a month old so almost two months more um, they put it together we pin them that's another thing you'll need is pins and I don't think I yet yeah, I say no. uh, but just uh, pins that have the little head so that way uh, you pin them on there pin the fabrics together. You're going to pin, pin them 
inside out okay and you pin them together and you guide them into sewing them and they can do it like i told you my granddaughter is six years old and she can do it and she loves it and boys will like it too my grandson is 11 years old no 12 years old and um he loves sewing um i'll i uh, I'll post a video. I posted a picture of him with a sewing machine, but I'll post a, a video on there where he was sewing and all of his sewing, he was happy. He liked it. He loves it. He was so happy with his pillow. So, you know, don't think that just because they're male, they're, they don't want to sew. They, they, they will like the projects. You just got to give them a chance. So that's what you need for the pillow. You're going to need the bag of stuffing, two quarters for each pillow, and we're going to cut them. And you need scissors, pins, your thread and a bobbin of course if you buy a sewing machine if you don't have one yet it, it comes with bobbins and um, you have to thread that and then for the next project it's you're gonna need pictures see I got baby pictures so my grandson I, I showed him this and, <laughs> cause that's it. and he's like he got all embarrassed and I said, well, I think one of those would be nice for, for your mom. And he's like, no. But at the end, he chose one of the baby pictures. And I had other pictures, but he chose the baby pictures. It's like so adorable. And um, that's my third grandson. And so, um, so I had pictures like this. And each of them selected the picture they wanted. And I wanted them to be of them because they were visiting here in El Paso. Uh, and they were going to go back home in a couple of weeks from, from that day. So I wanted them to take a gift for their mom. Okay, so this would be a, a great gift for Mother's Day or for Christmas. That way, you know, they, they can have something to give their mom that was special from them. And they have fun, and they have fun with you, with grandmother, making the, the craft. And they actually have a gift to give away to their mother or whoever but you know their mother they could give it to them and uh and they'll be so proud of it they, they, at least mine mine were they really liked it and um so what you need is a picture okay this one's a four by six and then this is the canvas where we put them in this canvas uh was in clearance so when you go to hobby lobby or michael's they have their items set at a price and then they might be on sale or you might be able to use a coupon to buy them cheaper but also check the clearance area because the items that because um, on the ticket here i used to work for hobby lobby so on the ticket they have the date of when it, it was first brought in this one's an old one i bought it a long time ago and it actually says 98. so um I, I can't remember now. I think it's the second number. So I think it was from, I, oh yeah, 9-8. So that means August of uh, 2018. Okay, that's when this one was in there. So then if you go um, to the um, uh, clearance section, you can find this stuff and it's a lot cheaper. So this one cost me $2.99 and it's a set of two. Okay, and you could get an, an Amazon for, um, I believe, a set of, four or six for, I want to say $14. I can't remember. Sorry. I was supposed to know. Uh, I'll, I'll put it above on the comments. And um, so anyways, this is two. It's a set. You should have come in twos. And so what you're going to do is paint it. And so you need paint. So this is Americana. This is folk art. And this is Apple Barrel. Can't even see it. So it's Americana, folk art, apple barrel. I'm not too happy with apple barrel. Uh, I haven't used it in in many years. This is just one that I had there. But this is the least expensive. But back in the day when I used to make a lot of crafts to sell, I used to go to craft shows. That's why when I lived in Maryland, I, I loved the craft shows there. That's where I started crafting and. Well, I started crafting overseas, but then in Maryland, I joined different uh, venues so I could do, so I could sell my crafts. So it was a lot of fun in, in uh, Maryland. Um, so anyways, but this one, um, for wood and stuff, I didn't like it. Okay, it seemed to be thin. 
but for other projects it's well and like I said this is a long time ago no when I bought it let's see if I can see 2006 no no December 93 it's old so they might have perfected it or made it better but that's the least expensive okay I, I believe you can get it for under a dollar so the other ones can cost you anywhere from uh, 139 to 199 and so those you want to either buy when it's on sale so look in the on I used to have to wait and look in the newspaper now you just go on um, the internet and put input um, Hobby Lobby Michaels and find out what the sales are for that week so Hobby Lobby and Michaels also has coupons that um, you can use on items that are not on sale they have to be regular price in order to use the coupons so when you just buy a couple of items that's that's good for the coupon and that's why I'm giving you advance warning so that way you can start getting your items okay now that's uh, a simple paint like for painting a real uh, canvas paintings you want to get better paint okay like this this is the ones I use and um, so that's what you need for that project and then for that project still we need Mod Posh okay so um, you can use this a lot I would buy a big bottle like this excuse me because you're gonna be crafting a lot with your grandkids they're gonna be having great beautiful memories with their grams um, it's better than buying actually like toys and stuff because like when I was buying them toys one of my daughters said mom they already have so many toys um, they they have me and they have their other grandparents and those grandparents buying a lot of stuff so um, I decided that I'm gonna craft with them so what I do is that when I go visit them I pack up a bunch of stuff and projects uh, I, I take about one or two projects to make with them and so I think that is a lot better than buying them toys that eventually they will forget about break and so when you make projects even though the projects get old and maybe they throw them away you know what it's gonna stay in their memory that you spend time with them okay so I I really like it I enjoy it and so now for you're gonna be you'll need excuse me brushes for the, this project for the canvas and all that so you know what I apologize I didn't use the 8 by 10 <laughs> I used the 5 by 7 I'm putting the picture on there and it's just, it's just like way too big so it's a 5 by 7 not the 8 by 10 okay so uh, you're gonna need brushes for the Mod Posh and a lot of people use this for the Mod Posh which is it's nice because you can just throw them away but uh, or you could even rinse them but eventually you'll have to throw them away but uh, I liked using brushes and they're more expensive and if you don't pay attention and you don't want your grand watch your grandkids or your children um, or your friends kids <laughs> or your nieces or nephews look what happened this is hard they left it out with the Mod Posh which is glue and so now it's Heart. and this was not a cheap brush it wasn't that expensive but it wasn't cheap so you gotta make sure that you have a, a water container this is a pickle jar so this is I, I recycle uh, my mom taught me to recycle before it was popular <laughs> so I recycle a lot of things so this is what I use for water and I have it ready so that way when they're done they can start you know rinsing it and look another thing you can use is this is a, a candle jar it, I used it up and then I, I washed it so you could use that you could also use where is it this is um, an ice cream tub and so they can use that as well so any container and they actually have some pretty 
uh, just clear glass containers at the Dollar Tree for one dollar so it's up to you then I like to keep the lids from the ice cream from the yogurt from the raisins and I um, wow and I forgot I had something else that I'm gonna use and I don't think I brought it so um, this is what I use for paint see you could see the paint here they could Put the different colors of paint that they're going to use and um, i even saved this from the um, this is where i actually when i worked with them because i had one on this side and one on that side and um, so i had this right in the middle and it had the mod it, it had the mod posh and so they got it from there so that's what i do and also yeah, sorry. i put a, a paper so put any paper um, or newspaper and put it underneath the project so they don't get the paint and the glue all over your table. My table here, this is my cutting board. Let me show you. See? So I could not let them mess that up. So I'll get better at this filming thing. So, um... The other project that I just did is, um, but I didn't go to the store <laughs> to get it. Go to the Dollar Tree and buy a birdhouse. It's, um, you have to build it yourself. It's, it's, it comes out about that big, about, oh, what is it? Five and a half inches, I think. And um, it was a fun project. I did it with my six-year-old. And on that, you have to work really, well, with all of them, you're gonna have to be helping them, okay? A little bit, you tell them how. So you, you wanna buy enough for each grandkid and one for you. You can either do it before or during with them. But it's fun to be doing them with it, with them. Except for the sewing. <laughs> when they're sewing, you really have to be checking on them, okay? And, um, but what I was gonna say okay so it's it's a dollar and you have to put it together so you need glue you need wood glue like Elmer's glue works fine that's what we used and you have to wait for it and you glue it put it all together and let me tell you they enjoy putting things together it, it, it's fun they love that and because they can personalize it and that again too could be a gift so more you only need one of this for that canvas project for uh, at least two so if you two to three it depends on how they use the paint and if they use this brush it eats up a lot of the paint okay so um they're inexpensive so i would get two of each color depending on how many grandkids you're going to be teaching and how many projects you're going to be making so they don't go bad like this one's old um, but for the birdhouse, I use different colors. I used um, bright colors that she would like, and um, uh, purples and pinks, and something that they like a lot, and that one costs a little bit more, is the um, um, frost, the frost or metallic colors. They love it. They look so pretty. And then you buy them jewels. Buy them little jewels at the Dollar Tree also. They have, um, oh, not here. You could buy little buttons like this. This, this I bought at Walmart, okay? But they have little, um, what are they called? Like little rhinestones that you can glue at the Dollar Tree. They're very cheap. So there, check that aisle where they have the crafting and you'll see different things that you could use for the birdhouse so that you could decorate it. Because they just love to make it personalized, to personalize it and, and put little jewels and make it pretty and um, uh, pick like three maybe coordinating colors or, or, or their favorite colors, three of them. So they could paint the base, the sides of the birdhouse, and then the top. Okay, so three colors. And... Um, uh, you could get a fourth color, but you'll use very little of it because it has a little stick that comes out. So that's supposed to be where the bird is supposed to stand. So uh, it's up to you. Uh, your paint won't go bad if you're going to continue to make uh, projects. So 
buy the colors that you like and let me see if I got everything so yeah that's the three projects so I will be teaching you how to make each project okay so it's uh, it's not that many materials and it's for three three items so I don't think it's that bad it won't be that expensive and like I made a mistake on the size of this it's supposed to be five by seven okay not the five by the eight by ten <laughs> couldn't remember until I put the picture there so that would be very fun uh, looking for the pictures you could in advance start looking on your laptop or computer and start checking out the pictures and print them out and then let them uh, decide what picture they're gonna use there and make it a surprise for mom don't let her know um, maybe um, uh, oh another thing this the canvas we're gonna paint it black okay that's what we did we painted it black but now if you don't want to paint it black and you want another color just make sure that it coordinates with your 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 picture okay uh, otherwise it might look odd and then again difference good <laughs> oh and the good thing about these see, I have an open one, is that it's stretched the canvas is stretched on this wood so when you hang it up, you know, you don't need any, any hardware except for the nail and it's easily hung up. Okay, so I hope uh, you like um, the information I gave you and I hope you have an idea of what the crafts are going to be and you look forward to making them. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye and please like my video. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and message me if you want the measurements okay love you bye